Now, how is, this, how is the current economic crisis in the world affecting your business, affecting uh, what you're doing in Moscow and Japan, and especially, of course, the United States? Well, the economic crisis, of course, has knocked everybody off stride uh -huh. and thrown the rule book out. Having said that, and you were asking me a bit earlier, I believe, about di being in different markets and the benefits of that, well, never is diversification more important than in this kind of environment. Our uh, sales in Canada this year have held up really pretty well through most of 2008 really? until the last two months. Okay. Uh, whereas our sales in the United States were flat, uh, terrible, quite frankly, for all of 08 because their problem actually began around the summer of 07. Right. Uh, our sales in Japan have been poor the last two or three years because of the Canadian dollar, which peaked at 110 to the U.S. and made our exports uh, not very competitive in Japan. Now the Canadian dollar is down at 80 cents, and, and uh, the rate against the yen is very favorable to us. Mm -hmm. We're looking at the best year in Japan in 09 that we've had in the last five. So the not having all your eggs in one basket is definitely uh, it's the critical. answer. Yeah, absolutely critical. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that, that's for sure. Yeah. Now, tell me about some of the help that, that your companies received from the Canadian Trade Commissioner Service. Uh, can, you talk to, can you talk to me a little bit about that? Yeah, and I really can't say enough about it because the Canadian government and numerous uh, provincial government branches, but the CMHC as well, CMHC, uh, BC Wood on the West Coast, mm -hmm. uh, NRCAN, yeah. um, the embassies. Uh, have all helped uh, meaningfully at different stages. I can give numerous examples. Uh, on the Japan side, yeah. um, the Canadian Embassy and CMHC uh, built a very strong relationship with JETRO, the Japanese Export yep. Trade Organization. And between those groups, they organized uh, many, many tours of Japanese builders into Canada and brought them to us brought them to, to our factory, helped, you know, yeah. set up the relationships. Uh, as recently as last year, we had a grand opening of a new model home in uh, Sendai, Japan, mm -hmm. and the Canadian ambassador from the Tokyo Embassy attended, did the ribbon cutting, gave a speech. Uh, CMHC has been trying to promote Canadian housing in different export markets for a long time. We work closely with many, many of their reps, uh, almost week in, week out yeah. on strategy. I would say for our particular business, one of the most significant things of all has been the development by NRCAN and soon to be partnered with CMHC mm -hmm. of the Canadian Super E house. Mm -hmm. And what they've done as a group is create the brand image for Canadian housing around the world as top-notch, literally world-class housing, and it, it gives Canada an, an industry segment that we can claim to be the best at in terms of exporting. It's certainly what drew our Russian clients to us. Yeah. They did a fairly simple analysis. They said, we need to get into wood frame technology. We need to find a country that can do that for us. Yeah. Canada's got the same climate, it's got a wood frame technology. They found it easy to do business with Canadians. So all of that is underscored by the efforts of CMHC and NRCAN and others to create this brand image of yeah. Canadian housing as being superb. And they've taken it to a whole new level with the Super E, which is environmentally friendly, energy efficient. It's a house building system that has certain performance uh, benchmarks that you have to hit to actually designate your house as Super E. Mm -hmm. And our Japanese clients have embraced it wholeheartedly and are currently rolling out a total Super E program mm -hmm. in Japan. I know one of my colleagues uh, at Alouette Homes uh, has had great success in the UK. Yep. Uh, again, that's a market that's typically built in concrete. Uh, their government recognizes that it's not envir environmentally friendly. It's hugely wasteful to try and heat these concrete houses. They're poor, poorly insulated. So they've switched to uh, a better building system. 
based on Canadian ideas. Yeah. And uh, my my colleagues have uh, our counterparts in uh, Alouette have had great success taking Super E to the UK market. So it, it's a real Canadian success story for many companies, uh, obviously Viceroy included. Yeah. And our Russian clients who are large land developers, residential land developers in Moscow, are also going to be going that route and, and the stepping green route. the green route, which really means the Super E route. Yeah. Now how, how, I want to touch a little bit on that. How challenging is it to sell green in a market like Japan? And what would be the difference between you know selling green in a market like Japan and selling green in a market like Russia, for example? Completely different in many ways. It's different because the Japanese are probably further ahead of the curve than even Canada. Mm -hmm. And what they call healthy houses uh, has been mandated a very strict legislation in Japan. About three or four years ago, we had to reformulate a whole bunch of our products, change suppliers in some cases, and have all of these products, and I'm talking about hardwood flooring, interior doors, kitchen cabinetry, uh, numerous other products like that, tested to these high levels of uh, formaldehyde emissions, mm -hmm. for example, um, chemical contents of coatings, chemical contents of the glues that you might use yep. to glue a stair system together yeah. for a residential home. So the Japanese have got super high standards, and although Canada is definitely embracing green, they were probably ahead of us, and we actually had to, to scramble to make sure we, we were within specification. Uh -huh. uh, a country like Russia, to which all of this is much newer, mm -hmm. um, they're certainly aware of it, but we think that we'll be playing a pretty major role with CMHC and the Super E program to, to bring them up to, uh, say, Canadian levels of understanding in this right. respect.